Hello Sagittarius, Sun and Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Sagi, let's go over the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Honeymoon for me as a reader, it's very similar to the Six of Swords in Tarot. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Somebody might have an off moon placement. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be the case, but we'll see why you're getting this card and how it resonates with your reading for today. Somebody could very well be moving or thinking about moving very soon. Uh, for some of you, you could very well be thinking about traveling very soon. So I'm also kind of getting that as well. But Saji, let's focus on you first, and then we'll jump over to your person. How does Sagittarius currently view this relationship? So, ooh, ooh. We have the Hierophant, we got the Ten of Cups, and then we also have the High Priestess. True pair situation right off the bat here between you and this person. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you're very compatible with. You're definitely connecting with somebody that you do share a very strong, intense spiritual connection with as well. You seem very, very happy with this person, Sagittarius. Yeah, you seem very, very happy with this person. For some of you, you could very well be married to this person. Or you could very well be uh, thinking of marriage here when it comes down to this person. I mean, you're definitely connecting, Sag, nonetheless, with somebody that you definitely see yourself being with long term. To the point where, yeah, you could very well be thinking about, you know, the house with the white picket fence, the children, marriage, all that jazz. You know what I mean? How does this person currently view this relationship? We have the uh, queen... Of wands we got the death card and then we also have the uh medic who the hell are you who the hell are you who is this person i don't know why i'm looking at this queen of wands and then my my eyes just automatically went to the hair font um you're either the hair font all this or you're the high priestess either which way the moment that I saw this Queen of Wands, my eyes went directly to the Hierophant. Um, this could, well, this Queen of Wands could be somebody that you used to deal with or someone that your person used to deal with. It's like somebody's resurfacing back up here for someone out of the blue. Let's see what this person wants. Tell me more about the Knight of Cups. This is either somebody that you were once upon a time romantically involved with or your person was once upon a time romantically involved with. It kind of looks like the main reason why this person's resurfacing back up here for you or either for your person is because they want to they want to reconnect here with either you or this person that you currently find yourself connecting with. That's kind of what I'm getting. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. We got the Eight of Pentacles, we got the Queen of Pentacles, and then we also have the Moon. I feel like this Queen has been secretly wanting uh, to extend themselves to either you or your person for quite some time. Yeah. You know what's interesting? See, that's my thing is that I don't know if this Queen was dealing with you or with your person. But obviously things went left here. You know what I mean? Between you and this queen or your person and this queen. And it kind of looks like, yes, they've been wanting to extend themselves to either you or your person for quite some time. But it kind of looks like they were kind of sitting around kind of hoping that either you would gravitate towards them and try to fix or repair things here with them. Or that your person would eventually gravitate towards them and try to fix or repair things here with them. But it kind of looks like that never happened. It kind of looks like you never gravitated towards them to try to fix and repair things here with them or your person never did. Because again, I don't know who was dealing with this Queen of Wands. It could have been you. It could have been your person. But this Queen of Wands is resurfacing back up here because they either want to reconnect with you or they want to reconnect with your person. Hmm. How does this person currently feel? We have the uh, Ace of Cups. We got the uh, Ten of Swords. And then we have the uh, Nine of Pentacles. Ooh, okay. 
I feel like this Queen of Wands is getting immediately shut down by somebody. Immediately shut down by someone. They're either getting immediately shut down by you or they're getting immediately shut down by your person. But this to me kind of feels like somebody getting immediately shut down. Immediately rejected by somebody. Ooh, let's, let's look at this a little bit more, shall we? Tell me more about the uh, Ten of Swords. Ooh. Yeah, this, this Queen of Wands, man, um, they're getting the door slammed in their damn face is kind of what I'm getting. Slammed in their damn face by somebody here. It's either by you or your person. And I feel like it's causing this queen to realize, like, damn, like, all right, they're really done with me. Like, they're really done with me. Like, they're really moving on with their life. Tell me more about the Ace of Cups. Yeah, I kind of feel like um, this Queen of Wands is under the impression that you're either moving forward and moving on with your life or your person is. It's interesting because I don't even feel like you and this person are actually having a conversation with one another or your person and them are having a conversation here with one another. It's kind of like the epitome of like texting somebody's phone and then instantly blocking them. You know, it has that feel or calling somebody's phone and then instantly blocking them. You know what I mean? Like I feel like this person's either finding out that they've been blocked by someone or somebody clearly doesn't want anything to do with them just simply based off of the fact that they're not even getting a response from that individual is kind of what I'm getting. Okay, let's keep going, shall we? What actions? I mean, not what actions. How does, how does Sagittarius currently feel? Mm, 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 mm. Somebody's worried and concerned. Somebody's worried and concerned. It's either you worried and concerned or your person's worried and concerned. And I feel like it has a lot to do with this queen of wands over here. Let's look at the nine of swords to the eight of swords. Tell me more about the nine of swords to the eight of swords. We have the two of cups. We got the seven of pentacles and then we got the five of pentacles. I'm not entirely sure if you were dealing with this Queen of Wands or your person was dealing with this Queen of Wands, but the fact that this Queen of Wands is resurfacing back up here for either you or your person out of the blue, it definitely has somebody in this marriage between you and this person, this relationship between you and this person, very worried and concerned. It's as if this person kind of feels... It's weird. It's as if this, this, this person, um, either your person or you, feel like this Queen of Wands has the... Um, the power and the potential to ruin what you guys currently have going on with one another. Now, I'm not entirely sure why you feel that way or why your person feels that way, um, but somebody definitely feels like, damn, like this Queen of Wands has the potential to really destroy me and Sagittarius's marriage or relationship. Or you feel like they have the potential to ruin um, your marriage with this person, your relationship with this person for whatever reason. For those of you who were dealing with this Queen of Wands, I don't necessarily feel like this is somebody that you saw yourself having a future with. Now, if this was your person that was dealing with this Queen of Wands, I don't necessarily feel like they themselves saw themselves having a future with this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords or the Eight of Swords. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to throw the cards like that. Um, somebody's worried and concerned that, um, some secret is going to come out. Some secret's going to come out. That's something that's going to come to light. Mm-hmm. 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 You're either worried and concerned that this queen is going to turn around and say something that could potentially uh, affect your marriage with this person or your person is worried that this queen could potentially say something that's going to um, affect their marriage or their relationship with you you're keeping you're either keeping a secret from your significant other that has everything to do with this queen of wands or your person is keeping a secret from you and it has everything to do with something that happened here between them and this Queen of Wands. Either which way, somebody's very worried and concerned that something's going to come to light. It's either you or your person that's very worried and concerned. But it has everything to do with this Queen of Wands. Everything to do with this Queen of Wands. Ooh. 
We have the page of wands. We got the eight of wands. And then we also have the uh, three of wands. You're either worried that this person is going to say something that's going to end up ruining things here between you and this person that you're currently with or your person's worried that this person's going to slip up and say something that's going to affect uh, what y'all got going on here with one another, basically. Um, okay, let's keep going. Um, what actions will this person take towards Sagittarius or moving forward? Um, Sag, I don't feel like you have anything to worry about when it comes down to this Queen of Wands, okay? I don't feel like you have anything to worry about. It kind of looks like they're going to move forward and move on with their life. Or your person doesn't have anything to worry about when it comes down to this Queen of Wands. Because it kind of looks like they're going to just move forward and move on with their life. They will get over you or your person is basically what I'm saying. And they will move forward and move on with their life, okay? Um, so I don't feel like you have anything to worry about. In other words, um, I, I, I don't feel like your significant other is going to find out the secret that you're keeping from them or vice versa i guess um somebody's definite i feel like either you're keeping a secret from your significant other or your person is keeping a secret from you yep somebody's keeping a secret here and i feel like it has everything to do with either your involvement with this queen of wands or your person's involvement here with this queen of wands but I don't feel like the secret's going to come to light, mainly because you're not going to let it. You're not going to let it come to light. Or your person's not going to let it come to light. Uh, they kind of know the only way that this could come to light is if this Queen of Wands opens their mouth, basically. And if this Queen of Wands doesn't open their mouth, you know, I guess, you know, your secret is safe, I guess. Um, or your person's secret is safe, you know, because if your person's keeping a secret from you, um, they're definitely not going to confess to you whatever it is that they're keeping from you. And whatever it is that they're keeping from you, it has everything to do with their involvement here with this Queen of Wands. And if this Queen of Wands doesn't open their mouth and say anything, they sure as hell are not. Um, and that's why they're worried and concerned about this Queen of Wands resurfacing back up here for them is because... There's something that this this Queen of Wands clearly knows and your person clearly knows that they don't want to come to light or something like that. Okay. So, in regards to how you plan on moving forward, we do have the Seven of Wands, we have the Emperor, and then we also have the Star. The bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords and then we also have the seven of cups to the nine of pentacles so let's talk okay um i feel like somebody's really hoping that somebody moves on with their life okay either you're really hoping that this queen of wands moves on with their life so that way they don't try to ruin what you have going on here with this person that you're currently dealing with or your person's really hoping that this queen of wands move forward and moves on with their life and gets with someone else so that way they don't have to worry about them potentially affecting their marriage or their relationship with you. Uh, this person comes off to me as somebody who is now starting to kind of feel like they have to be very, very overprotective of you and this relationship that they share with you, especially from this Queen of Wands. What relationship um, does this Queen of Wands have here? So it kind of looks like this Queen of Wands was dealing with this masculine energy. Come here. It kind of looks like this Queen of Wands was dealing with this masculine energy. It kind of looks like they had a romantic relationship with one another. And because they had a romantic relationship here with this Queen of Wands, I feel like this masculine energy is really afraid that this feminine energy which is the energy that this energy over here, the high priestess energy is feminine energy. Um, they're really, they're really worried that this high priestess like energy is going to end up finding out that they were actually romantically involved here with this queen of wands over here. Why does it matter? That's kind of why I'm, that's what I'm getting all of a sudden. Why does it matter? Why does it matter? Why does it matter? 
Because this, to me, I, I didn't get the Three of Swords at all, not one time, which is basically representing that there was not a third-party situation at play. In other words, this masculine energy that you're currently dealing with, let's just say that this is the masculine energy that you're currently dealing with. This masculine energy that you're currently dealing with, Saji, it kind of looks like they were romantically involved here with this Queen of Wands during a time where the two of you were not together. Um, again, I did not get the third, uh, the three of swords at all, which basically represents a third party situation. So there was technically speaking, no cheating involved. It just kind of looks like, um, you guys potentially broke up with one another and they got involved here with this, this queen of wands. And it kind of looks like they just don't want you to know that they were involved with this queen of wands in a romantic way. They just don't want you to know that for whatever reason. Um, and it could be because they fear that you might get upset, you might leave them, you know, that's a possibility. Um, or you might be extremely worried and concerned that they might leave you if you were to find, or if they were to find out that you were romantically involved with this Queen of Wands. Because I'm not getting no third party situation at play. I'm not getting any cheating involved or anything like that. I'm not. I'm definitely not. But I kind of feel like if this Queen of Wands were to open their mouth and say, you know... And, well, and speak on the relationship, I guess, that they had here um, with this masculine energy that it might cause, you know, an ending to transpire here between the two of you. But I got to be honest, Sag, it doesn't it doesn't look like there was a third party situation. It kind of looks like that's more than likely what happened, that you guys broke up and then they got involved with this Queen of Wands. And now this Queen of Wands is hitting them up out of nowhere. And now your masculine energy is very worried and concerned that that could potentially set you off and cause you to basically break up with them um, is kind of what I'm getting primarily. I don't know. Maybe this person thinks that you're going to get really angry and upset to find out that they were dealing with this chain of wands. Um, but I don't feel like there was cheating involved at all. All right. So that's what I have. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.